Breakups are always difficult, but in the digital era, separating from someone isn't just an issue of physical distance anymore. It also requires some online scrubbing too, if you want to stop bumping into them through tweets, photos, posts, and so on. So here's how to digitally remove your ex from your life. One of the worst post-breakup reminders comes in the form of digital memories, and your iPhone loves to serve up digital memories in the Photos app. Thankfully, iOS 15 has a great new option called Feature This Person Less, which easily takes care of that problem. But that doesn't account for the myriad of ways your former flames can pop up online. While it may seem dramatic to block or unfollow your ex, remember that Instagram, Facebook, and other social networks algorithms are used to you interacting with your ex a lot and build that into the very invasive algorithm they serve you. Removing your ex from that algorithm is the easiest and most effective way to get them out of your feed. To truly rework the algorithm feed, don't search their profile, as tempting as it is. Searching tells your device that you're interested in seeing more of them, and the same goes for Google searches. You may also want to temporarily mute friends and family that frequently share photos of your ex. This tells a site that you don't want to see these people's posts, and your feed will populate with different posts, although it may take a little time to fully cleanse. Digital lifestyle expert and radio host Kim Commando recommends changing your passwords to any accounts if there's even just a chance your ex has them, as well as changing any answers to security questions. And don't forget your streaming devices too. For Netflix, you'll want to check require all devices to sign in again with new password after you lock down your account to prevent future mooching. Some services like iCloud can give your ex access to sensitive info like photos and text, so make sure to remove their access there too. Change the password to your router and check the access to smart tech, such as locks and even smart speakers like Alexa. These devices can be accessed remotely, so it's possible your ex can connect to them even if they're not in your home. Unfortunately, it's legal to hack into someone's Wi-Fi, and if it does happen, the hacker, your ex, could gain access to your data. While we can't men in black our minds, we can do so from our tech. Google Photos has similar functions where you can hide people and pets and even hide dates so anniversaries won't be a problem. Tap on your profile photo, go to photo settings and choose memories. Tap hide people and pets and choose who'd you like to hide. And same goes for dates. On Facebook, go to the memories page, then navigate to hide people and type in your ex's name. Feel free to include any other names of third parties that may bombard you with photos of your ex too. Following all these tips won't guarantee you won't see your ex. Algorithms and functions aren't perfect, but if you truly want to go no contact, these steps can help. 